Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be looking at this. It's the Uniphone Gemini Pro. It's a new smartphone from Uniphone and it's an upgrade of the old Gemini. So, without further ado, let's open up the box and take a look at it. Now, first thing you can see from this, it's got a very nice box. And here's the phone, but before we actually take out the phone and have a look at that, let's have a look at some of the accessories we've got in it too. Let me try and fish that out. And there we go. And open this here and take a look at what we have. USB cable here, we can see it's got a USB-C. Okay, so it's an adapter, micro USB on this side and USB-C there. So if you have any other old accessories and products which use USB or micro USB and you need an uh, adapter for those accessories, there you go, there's one there. Your SIM port opening tool there. Um, I, I assume there's some manuals in here, let's check it out, okay. Oh no, not the manuals, but rather your screen protector. There you go. And here we have the charger. All oh, right, okay, no, this is one's for EU and the USB slot down there. Okay, here we have the manuals. And take a look, take this off here, wrapping. And on the front of the phone, we have some of the basic specs. It's talking about the dual rear cameras, both 13 megapixel, there they are. And the processor is the Helio X27 Deca Core. Four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabyte internal storage, fingerprint scanner, which is not on the back, so I assume it is here. And then 5.5 inch display. You can see, you'll be able to see a bit better when I turn it on, but I can see from here that the bezels along this side, this side here, very small. So it's quite nice that the screen takes up a large portion of the front part there. Quite a large battery, it seems. 3,680 milliamp hours. So that should give you a good bit of life. I imagine at least a day if you've got that sort of size of battery. <clears throat> and running on Android 7.0. And as I can feel right now, it says it here, um, it's a metal unibody. Um, it's quite, uh, well, cool, I'd say, in terms of the feel itself. It's quite cold feel, and yeah, it's, it feels very solid, but smooth. And the edge is nice and round, got a nice sleek appeal to it. Let's switch it on and actually take a look at the quality of the screen. But first, let's peel this off, like that. Okay, here we are. Oh, and we're in. Okay, at the moment it's set uh, to Chinese because I got this straight from the manufacturer. Um, but it does have Play Store installed. So let me just quickly set out the language on this first of all. All right, so I've set my fingerprint on it. I've set up the Wi-Fi, set the language, set the time and date. So let's give you a look at the display and have a little play around with it, see what this phone can do. So let's first of all see how that fingerprint works. Okay, pretty quick, straight in. Well, you should be able to see just from the uh, menu screen with these various apps I've got shown here that the screen is um, pretty clear and it's got a good level of brightness on it. Let's see, have I turned that all the way up? Oh, not even, okay, now that's turned all the way up. So you should be able to see from that that it's got a good range of color and it's quite crisp. This phone's got a pretty simple and cool design. It's quite a bit of weight to it um, compared to some other phones, but that's because of the larger battery. It comes in about 180 grams. Uh, it's reasonably powerful. It's Uniphone's flagship phone. And for the price, which is $260, you get pretty good specifications and quite a fast phone, runs well. Um, also with this uh, SIM card slot, you can also add in your TF cards, SD cards, uh, so the internal storage is upgradable. Now, like I say, it has two 13 megapixel cameras here at the back and one 8 megapixel camera here at the front. So just to give you an idea of what sort of pictures these dual rear cameras can take, 
I am going to take uh, this Canon 550D SLR camera from behind me and take a picture of a camera. I'm not sure that really works too well for this sort of picture. Let's just try it on the normal setting. Now let's play around a bit with the video we have on this camera. Mm, what can we get with the video here? I'm going to switch it around to me and see what sort of quality we can get like this. Um, well, you should be able to see how it's focusing on me. So all in all, I reckon that this is a very good smartphone at mid-range price. It's one of the best phones that Eulophone has put out currently. And if you want to get your hands on the Gemini Pro, then head to geekbind.com. And remember to subscribe. Also, Geekbind has got its fifth anniversary promotion sale on at the moment. So again, head over to geekbind.com. There are sales of plenty up to 90% off. So go ahead and check that out. And thanks for watching. I'm not